Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more CK2 Saxon Savagery. Okay. It is a new week for me, uh, which means it's probably Wednesday for you, and I don't remember what we were doing last time. We need to pick an ambition. But I didn't want to click See the Realm Prosper quite yet. Okay. And we do have ri uh, Righteous Imprisonment against my own son, because if I call recall correctly... Gosh, I can't even talk to start off. If I recall correctly, he did want to murder somebody. Deddo. Yeah. That's not good. Uh, we should probably tell my son to end his own plot, and we should definitely tell Deddo to end his own plot as well, because... You know, I wouldn't want my son to be a known murderer before he ascends to the throne, and I... Certainly want, don't want my son to die, so okay. Scheming is misjust. He will not... Wait, what? I will not support my... To what? I will not withdraw my support for Dedo's plan to... Do absolutely nothing. No idea what you're talking about, my liege. Oh, that's silly. And of course my son now ends his plot as well. We should probably tell all these people to end their plots. Go ahead, just auto-do your thing for a little while. Who are we trying to kill? Ah, right, my rival. The, uh, the steward of Saxony. Chief of Altmark. I do not recall why I was angry at you. Were you trying to sleep with my wife? I think that's right. I'm pretty sure you were trying to seduce my wife. Yeah, it's all coming back to me now. The rage. It builds. Okay. Got a lot of things built now. Uh, let's take a quick look at some of my tribes. Should probably go ahead and upgrade the Weaponsmith there. Um, probably should build a Weaponsmith here. Now as far as... Oh, wait, 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 wait! I can build shipbuilding! <gasps> oh, oh, oh! I can build shipbuild stuff, things. Yes, shipbuilding is now available to me. Okay, so the tech has finally spread. Now we can try getting some of our own ships. Thank God. I don't know why I was built... I... Can I cancel this? Can I, can I cancel? Hang on. Oldenburg. Cancel. Can cancel. They won't let me cancel. Well, dang. All right. Well, I need to get some more prestige because I can finally, finally start building ships. My technology has spread out of Braunschweig and into Oldenburg and Cell. Can I build one in Lundberg? No, unfortunately. All right. Let's go upgrade this then. Yeah. It's not actually attached to a coast, apparently. Is this... How is this allowed to build a ship, though? Is this not considered to be a river? Is this considered to be a part of the same sea tile? That actually might be the case. In which case, I'm actually kind of disappointed, because I would have liked to have been able to build ships along rivers. Granted that as a Norse pagan myself, we are allowed to navigate up and down rivers. I was kind of wondering if we'd be allowed to build some ships along the riverbeds and then go sailing out into the ocean. But no, it does not appear that that's going to be allowed. Hang on, shipbuilding here is not allowed. This does not have the right tech. So Oldenburg can't do it. What is your tech level right now, sir? Really close to being done. It did finish here, though. Interesting. All right, never mind. We actually couldn't have built a we couldn't have built a ship builder then anyway. That's fine. That's fine. Whatever. The point is, it is spreading slowly, but we are getting around, and now we're going to start getting some ships. I could hear someone sneaking around inside and believed it to be a burglar. When I went downstairs, I discovered Radigand opening one of my letters. I could become cruel, or she could lose some prestige. I don't want to become cruel. I mean, cruel is okay as a martial stat, but that, that's about it. My pitiful son, Norik! Oh, he's got the flu. He's a less important son. I pray he will recover. And he was skillfully treated. Okay. My court physician may have a couple pieces of gold. It's fine. Somebody just inherited some titles. Okay, that's fine. My liege, it pains me to say, but there is a traitor in your realm. This rotten egg is plotting your downfall. I enclose the damning evidence with this letter. Your loyal servant, High Chief Bernard. Okay, so my Chancellor, who's been very loyal to me up to this point, is trying... Oh, oh, hang on. This is my rival, the guy that we hate. Okay, so do we fetch the traitor? And the guy that we hate will hate me even more. Falsely convicted and I imprison him. He's falsely... This is nonsense. Tell High Chief... Okay, so apparently High Chief Bernard is actually giving me some pretty terrible evidence right now. However, I could use it in some way. This seems fishy. I should notify the supposed plotter. I don't want to warn Ansgar. I want him to die. I think High Chief Bernard is the real traitor. That could be true. I mean, 
He's been really good for me thus far, but he is a drunkard. Maybe he's just an idiot. Falsifying evidence. He definitely falsified the evidence. The thing is, it actually suits my purposes pretty well just to be able to imprison this guy. So yeah, you're falsely convicted, and I don't even care. Have fun. <laughs> Justice! What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. We need a new steward. Best steward is this guy, a goatee. It's not great, but it'll have to do for the time being. Build my legend! And what an incredibly just and noble king that I am, as I accept falsified evidence so it suits me politically. Alright, my son has managed to train up some more troops. Well done, my boy. Good job. I am pleased. Do you want to declare war on Bohemia? I think that's the next person to kill, yes? Oh, we totally can. Let's go ahead and conquer this one. Litumris, or whatever. Council votes yes. Well, good. The council didn't actually have much say in the matter, except they did, but I'm not going to let them think that. Call forth the allies. Now, one thing I've been thinking about is the timing of feudalism. You may be thinking, well, you're already working your way up the medium tribal organization and so on. Why not just go to high now that it's available? No, not actually a good idea right now. So the problem is, if I move from medium to tribal organization, I think I am no longer able to call the vassals in as allies. In which case, I get all of their troops. At that point, I think I start to act more like a feudal lord, and I have some of their levy, like, is obligated to me because I'm their, their overlord. The vassal levy increases, basically, but I'm not allowed to call them in as allies and get their full levy. So it actually would weaken me a fair bit, which I'm not really thrilled about. Uh, I probably will not move to high organization until I'm ready to go to absolute and then form tribal uh, feudalism. Which, uh, maybe I will or maybe I won't with this character. We haven't decided yet. Hey! King Thutbald, the monster. King of Austrasia, I forgot you were my tributary. We have a terrible plague spreading through France, it appears. Camp Fever. Wow, they're getting wrecked! Maybe their king will die. I feel like they're... Wasn't there a crest down here earlier? Did they move? They might have moved. Albrecht the Depraved. Well, you've still got 6,000 troops, so... Not a high priority to kill you, but... Still... Hmm... Let's get our troops down here and deal with Bohemia. He's not even a king, he's just a duke. Did he get more troops? You event spawned, didn't you? Yep, he event spawned another 1,000 troops. Well, that sucks. Why does the AI get to cheat like this? Do they all just have that much prestige? Or am I missing something? Let's see, we need some marshals on either side, like so. Maybe I should try making my son into a Viking. <gasps> what if we made my son into a commander and then go on some raiding parties? Ooh, yeah. Arrange a marriage between my son and... This is the girl he was betrothed to, right? Oh yeah, she's, a, she's an attractive girl. Yeah, yeah, we accept this. Hooray! My son is married, and shall make beautiful, attractive babies. Your wife, Sati, has asked you to consider her for the position of steward on my council. Really? While you are sure she would be up to the task, it would be an unconventional choice, if not an outright scandalous one. Your vassals would not be happy. What a brilliant idea. She is better. She becomes my steward. She likes me. However... All of my vassals will be unhappy for five years. How dare you suggest something so inappropriate, woman? How dare you? What are you thinking? I was wounded, again, in the thick of battle. It turns out I'm getting myself hurt a lot lately. Godi Adelgod has published his book. What a waste of gold. It gathers dust. He didn't even get a learning skill. You suck, sir. I don't like him. And I am scarred, again. Wasn't, wasn't, I, wasn't I already scarred? Yeah, I was already scarred. Well, joy. I have a hunting focus, and yet I'm not getting any way to um, relieve stress yet, which is very disappointing. I haven't even gotten a freaking hunting dog. Why aren't they letting me hunt the white stag? I feel like I deserve to hunt the white stag. All right. Let's try what I was saying earlier, and that is to make my son into a commander, if he'll let me. Uh, where's, where is he? He's not on this list. What? Where are you? Son? Looter? You have 20 marshal. You are not forbidden to lead armies. Can I not make you a counselor? Uh, commander? Oh, that's interesting. 
I could have him go and uh, assemble a mercenary company. I'm not going to do that. Basically, could uh, sell him off like a mercenaries. Yeah, no. That's not a good idea. Okay, I guess I can't make him into a counselor. That kind of sucks. Well, my vassals seem to be doing just fine. Let's go raiding for a little bit. Take a look at the economic map mode. There's a bit of money in Württemberg, but it's mostly protected. But I can burn it down. So let's go do exactly that. Let's create a new unit. Send everything over here. This basically, the only reason this works the way it does is it basically forces my vassals to stop attaching to this army. Which is what I need in order to form looter. So, okay. Go ahead and put myself in charge, because I am a Viking after all. Get them over there. And let's go to Wurttemberg and burn things down. La la la, this sucks for you. Ten siege ticks. It's going to take a little while. We basically need to be attacking uh, East Francia every opportunity I get. So we can try pushing down to form Germania. My daughter-in-law. Do you have the same name as my wife? Sati and Sati. Huh, look at that. Like father, like son. We both named women named Sati. Or Sadie, or whatever. She's got a pretty decent martial score for a woman. She's very attractive. Maybe I should try seducing her. No, 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 we won't do that. It's tempting, though. But no, we won't do it. That'd be horrible. Would never do that to my son. Never. Never would I ever. Alright, we're already done with Bohemia. Do I want to just go ahead and finish off this war? Yeah, why not? I don't have any troops to lose. Enforce demands. Thank you. This chiefdom is mine. What duchy are you a part of? This one. Goswin, congratulations. We got another chief for you. Here. You may have Mr. Licorice. I mean, Litomeris, or whatever you are. There you go. Enjoy. Okay, looking pretty good. Now, forming Germania, we need to work our way down here toward Great Moravia next. Finish off the rest of Bohemia as well. So all of this, pretty much all of East Francia, all of Bavaria. Will that be enough to get us to... Whoop! Uh, my wife? No, wait. My daughter, and who's... Uh-oh. Ansgar of Altmark. What? My rival seduced my daughter and had a son. Oh, that's not allowed, sir. No, no, no. What will your wife think? I've just inherited a barony. Where? Where did I get a barony? This one. Create a new vassal there. Yeah, what will your wife think? What have you done? All right, that's it. That's it. Prisoners. Ansgar, can I execute you? Okay, that would be considered tyrannical. Um, I apparently don't have as much power. However, <laughs> his wife is now interested in joining the plot against him. Oh, that's funny. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's going to lose opinion with a lot of different people. His wife wants to murder him. That is great. Okay, well, we could hold a blute. Should I hold a blute? That's actually another way we can try to get him killed. Yeah, I think we should hold the blute. Who are you? A little Catholic boy. Uh, that won't save you. Another little Catholic boy. And a big Catholic man. Alright, Catholic kids must die. Let's hold a great blute. Can't think of any reason not to do this right now. We will get to kill our rival this way. Far more official than murdering him, too. The guests have arrived. Human sacrifice time. There he is! Oh, my rival, the lecher who tried to seduce my wife and then seduce my daughter instead. Bastard. All oh, Father, we offer you this sacrifice of very spoiled, rotten human flesh. He's dead. And now the Catholics. And we can't kill children, apparently. What? Since when am I not allowed to murder children? I know that's a horrible question to ask, I'm, I'm aware, but... I was not aware that that was a thing still. Well, what do you know? All right, we need to give him this tribe. So let's grant him the tribe here like so. There we go. I think he made himself a feudal vassal, though, because he had a castle. Nope. He apparently did not endorse, uh, or sorry, embrace feudalism. He's sticking with tribalism government. Okay. Well, that's fine. We're about to finish burning down this castle. With everything spinning from all the mead you drank, you stumble towards the exit... As you step outside, you are treated to the sight of Enno and High Chief Hearthgate embracing each other and kissing passionately. 
They immediately stop when they notice you. By tear or tire. They're gay. Or something. Uh, he is homosexual. And, okay, yeah, two homosexual men, it turns out. Anno. I didn't even realize. And you were a Catholic. Okay, well, I have a very bad opinion of them now. Because, you know, this game is not very progressive in that sense. Which is, uh, realistic, I think, from a historical perspective. Alright, we've burned down that castle. Now let's go through the city, where most of the tax will be. Cities are fun to burn. Burn them all. Let's go down to Ulm next. Aw, oh, Duchess Walpurga! You're all grown up and beautiful! Let's kidnap you. I love CK too. Alright, uh, we still don't want to pick an ambition for a little while. We do, however, need a childhood focus for my son, who is still betrothed to this girl right here. We will, let's see, you are conscientious, brooding, and idolizer. Brooding and conscientious is really good for a stewardship focus. All right. I wanted you to be a marshal man, but uh, I think that will have to do. It's just too good. Too good. I'm going to get rid of some of these. Too many messages. Ah, get out of here. Ah, okay. Good. Good. Um, do we have our, our boats now? Yes? Wait, we can't build level two. We can only build level one. That's fine. It's perfectly fine with me. Oldenburg, do you have the tech yet? Not yet. Ah, dang. Judenberg, no. Ostfriesland, no. West Friesland, no one has the tech. So disappointing. Okay, well. Still. We should consider upgrading something. Do I want to get a practice range over here? Eh, screw it, why not? We should have something building in practically every pre province as long as we can. Let's get another weaponsmith. Better morale for my armies. It's fine. Hey, raiders, what do you think you're doing? Yeah, that's right, you get out of here. Okay, we burned down that. That was worth 40 freaking ducats. Good lord. Yeah, that's right. That's right, you stupid raiders. I'm gonna get you. Uh, we need to retreat these troops. I think. I wanted to burn this down, but he's got an army coming for me. Back off. There he is. And we made it. They didn't see a thing. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Get, no, just, oh, stupid. Who raids Saxony? First off, why would you ever raid a tribe? Like, that's just dumb on, like, face value. But seriously. Why on earth would you raid the most powerful pagan nation in the world? You must be so stupid. I want to say foolish, but that didn't come out of my mouth. My brain is, like, not happy with me today. I don't know if you've noticed this. I feel like it's fairly obvious, personally. How are we doing as far as tech? Anything I want to get? I could get some more infrastructure. I could get trade practices. Uh, I think I will go for the religious customs. Do I want to go for... So, castle infrastructure is a better long-term um, tech for me. Trade practices, I don't know what that would do for me, really. It's not as important. I'm going to go for the castle infrastructure. And that'll have to be it. Okay. Not bad, not bad. When do my truces expire with these people? Wait, looks like one of them did expire. What's this? Oh, I can actually attack East Francia again. Well then, I will burn down this castle, and then I will take something from you. What would I take? Uh, this one. Maybe. Or maybe Koln. Koln looks tempting. Maybe we should take this one. This looks good. Yeah, I'll take Koln. It's just a bishopric. Maybe I can, maybe I can siege it down and drag the prince bishop out and just burn him. It'll be great. We converted somebody. Who do we convert? Good. Okay. That's now done. We need to convert some more of these Catholics, but otherwise, looking pretty decent. Uh, crap. Warsburg. That's where we want to go next. Okay. Any old Germans left? There are a couple, kind of holding out down here, but it looks like all forms of um, Norse governments... All the tribal leaders have, in fact, embraced the new Germanic faith. So good! Our reformed faith is victorious. 
How awesome is that? <laughs> More weaponsmiths have been built. I do still want to burn down your city. And then I'll declare war on you. How long is this going to take? Oh, not long at all. Oh, that was easy. What's this? <gasps> My wife has sent me a puppy! It's a small puppy, but of the finest pedigree and destined to grow into a great hunting dog. I accept this gracious gift. I get health and diplomacy. I will name it Hunter. Yay! I have a dog. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and pull off real quick. Let's disband the troops. All of them. Thank you. And Mr. Kingman, where are you? No, for, for real though, where, where are you? Where's the king? He's down here! Surrounded by Burgundy. Burgundy is a really growing kingdom. Look at this. Wow. Why is this color different than the rest of Burgundy, though? Are there two different Burgundies? Is there Burgundy the kingdom and Burgundy the duchy? That's confusing. No, no, no. You can't do that. That's silly. All right, let's declare war. I want to conquer Koln. This one shall be mine. And the council agrees. You give it to me now. Okay, well, I need to end this video here, but thank you guys for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. Even though I'm not making a lot of sense right now, I feel woozy. I need to go take a nap. Uh, if you did enjoy the video anyway, though, be sure to hit the like button. Make sure you leave a comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.